All right, welcome back, guys, to our Let's Play, our continuation of our Let's Play of Resident Evil on the Sega Saturn. Oh yeah, we got a lot of shit to do. Because guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the second house, the guard house. If you, in case you didn't see part one and part two, man, I barely made it to the guard house because dogs were attacking me. I was dodging them. Uh, it, it was completely insane. Maybe I'm getting too old for this shit. And I'm just losing my touch or something. I don't know. Used to be really kick ass and be on time and kill all the zombies and shit. And man, oh man, I think I'm losing my touch. Or maybe this game version is different before the director's cut. Damn. I'm trying to aim at this zombie, but the aiming is just... My pad is broken. My controller pad is broken. It's like... I'm trying to hold the R button. He's like going up and down, up and down, up and down. And I gotta start all over again. That's embarrassing. Jeez. It's just embarrassing on my part. There we go. Much better. There we go. Oh, here it comes. Another one. Sit your ass down, bitch. Didn't die yet. Didn't think I was stupid. I'm gonna wait for him to come. Come on. Come on along. Come on, I know you can smell my blood. Away from me there. Oh, there we go. Wish I could bring my combat knife if I was a lot like, uh. What I'm trying to say is, if I had more skills like I did back then, I'd be knifing the shit out of these zombies. But I know there's hardcore gamers that have played the Resident Evil series to death. They know their shit better than I do. There's this dude on uh, YouTube. He played the entire game by using the knife on every opponent, I believe. Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, how is that possible? How the hell did that kid do it? It was impressive. Using the knife. He didn't use bullets. Put some stuff away and maybe get some stuff. All right, let's go see what I have in the chest. Just sucks. Chris has to hold six items. He's a real tough guy. That's why. He's a tough man. He's a man. That's why. Buying those shotgun shells. And we get the shotgun and we put down the crank. You never know. You never know why I need that shotgun. <clears throat> All right. Could be a zombie in the bathroom or come out of nowhere. You never know what's going on in that madhouse. Never know who's gonna pop up at any moment. Might be your mom or something, or that's not going too far. Okay, that's enough. Oh my god. Can you imagine one of your family members in the mansion and he's dead and shit? That would suck. Yeah, well, you know, we got a key, the control room key. All right, let's see what we're gonna go. 
Think about going downstairs into that other room. I was just testing my aiming. Now we're gonna go in here to get that code. We gotta kill two tarantulas or spiders, whatever the hell they are. I don't care. That was freaking cool. It, the bad thing is, is that I'm trying to aim at them, and the aiming sucks. All right. Wanted to get some more handgun bullets and dodge these spiders. You know, oh, I'm trapped. How you like that? Oh, and I'm poisoned. I think. Shit! I gotta put something in there into that chest. Look at that. I'm poisoned. Lovely. Dumbass. What a jackass move I did. Alright. We're gonna remain calm and. The first aid spray ain't gonna cut it. I don't think the red herb will either. Yeah, I didn't think so. We gotta get one of those blue herbs. All right. There we go. Blue herb. Still remember where everything's at. All right. Now we're going to go into that room. <whistles> Alright, just making sure I got everything that I need. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the control room key. The C room key, I would call it, is downstairs as well. Oh, here comes the big ass bees. In real life, in true story, I'm allergic to bees, to be honest. Ugh. God. I always like cringe and just. I'm always afraid of those bees. <clears throat> Trying to clear my throat. Right. Yes, I do. Might as well just discard it. And I believe everything looks good. Alright, let's do it. The reason why I'm carrying this shotgun because in case of once we go into the bathrooms, the zombies will pop out out of nowhere and uh, I'll have to give them a shotgun to the head. Just like this little zombie is going to be popping up. Watch this, watch this. Here's the reason. Oh shit, there we go. Thought I was gonna have the aiming like corrupted and shit with the control. That would have freaking sucked! Alright. Now we're gonna go downstairs.
Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident in the plant at point 42. It's grown amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T virus differently than other plants have been and shown unique shapes and additional of its size. Look at the way it behaves. It's now difficult to get rid point is originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its roots and that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blend into the water and promoted the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs on the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Some crazy ass shit. One cent movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the sucker's location at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twinkling vines around it, especially when it captures prey of its sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. Oh shit! Plan 42 in the guardhouse. You had a crazy ass accident. And then Plan 42 arrives, and then some idiot scientist broke the water tank. And now he broke the water tank. Chris is in for a surprise. What he's gonna see. Chris is in for another surprise. That the man scientist and the person that wrote that didn't tell you. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the warning, you jackasses. Such a lovely, lovely company that you want to work for, Umbrella. Such a wonderful company. You get all benefits, life insurance, all that other shit, and... With a catch, though. You have to sell your soul because Umbrella's family... More important than your wife and your kids. That's the umbrella way. They just don't bother telling you. You just get suckered in of working with that company. They don't like you. The only way they fire you and get rid of you is to shoot you. Like you don't even exist. Such a wonderful company, Resident Evil. Uh, Umbrella is not Resident Evil. Umbrella. <sighs> They're run by assholes. That's what they are. They are run by corporate greed and a bunch of dumb assholes. Alright. Now I get a chance to cross over. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta run for my life. That's right. I've got to run for my life. And you'll see why I gotta run for my life. RUN CHRIS RUN! RUN! RUN BITCH! RUN! Oh, there's a shark. Jaws is coming. <laughs> Dumbass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get in there, get in there. Sorry, no sharks allowed. No sharks allowed, bitches. So the mad scientist broke the water tank filled with sharks and 
it was too lazy to even do this. You just don't press the button. You just don't even bother unless if Wesker did it. If he was the mad scientist. Oh, there's some sound from the next room. Some other door got unlocked. If you would have seen the one on uh, Nintendo DS, the uh, Resident Evil's Deadly Silence, if you play the Rebirth mode, they made the version a little bit different when you put down the water. If you get the wrong code, or I don't remember how it went, but wherever it went, um, the poison water will go down if you get something wrong. That's that's just that was pretty creative. I wish they would have thought about that years ago, but it's the Nintendo DS version of Resident Evil Deadly Silence of this game. But no two tyrants on the Deadly Silence version. Not even on the remake. Not even a PlayStation version. Just this version only. Still don't get why. It was just a Sega Saturn exclusive. Would it be too hard? Come on, it'll be a challenge. <clears throat> and the sharks are flippity flopping around. Ooh. The sharks are. I don't know. Does the graphics. The graphics look way different on the Saturn version. For the sharks than it was on the PlayStation. I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to do a, a comparison later on. Like, not right now, but like sometime in the future. I want to compare the Saturn version and the PlayStation version on certain things. You'll see one. All right, we avoided the shark. We got what we need a key. We got some bullets Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll And now we're gonna go back to the safe room and we're gonna organize We're gonna prepare to kick plant 42's ass we're gonna lay the smack down on his rudy poo sorry excuse for a plant's ass burn that bitch to the ground we're gonna do that yeah i'm just talking random so don't mind me i feel like i'm drunk and shit <clears throat> all right okay Put down the green herb. Might be a mistake. Might need some health. Hmm. Nah, I think we'll be alright. Let's see what we can do. Let's go in this room. Just want to check something up. May have seen a uh, a small key. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yes, there is. There we go. I might want to do something different. <clears throat> Alright. Gonna go in that room that we need to go to. Ooh, man. 
see here. All right, just want to make sure everything looks good. We're good to go. Yeah. I need to wake up because if I fall asleep, I'm going to get killed. So well, discard that key. <clears throat> Back when I was playing it for the very first time, my adrenaline was pumping. Like my heart was pounding, like you didn't know what was gonna happen. That's exactly what I need, honestly. Hey, Grimmin. The reason why I'm getting this ink ribbon is because... You never know. And now we're gonna kill this zombie. There we go. Collect some bullets, because we're gonna need them. To survive this madhouse. Right, nothing in the dirty ass bathtub. I'm telling you, umbrella are run by psychopaths. I mean, they're smart as hell, but. The way they treat their employees is like it's like you have to like I said before you gotta sell your life sell your soul for umbrella that's the umbrella way you gotta sell your soul because once you get hired by umbrella you sell your soul and umbrella owns you Just a wonderful evil company. All right. Now we're going to go back in this room. Get rid of those damn spiders. Get another ink ribbon and I'm gonna get the hell out of here! Run, run, run! Did I get hit? <clears throat> Please tell me I did not get hit. <clears throat> oh, thank God. Thank God. <whistles> Dodge the bullet. Alright, um, hmm. Alright, before I go into this room, I want to go back down the ladder. Go back downstairs. And you must be wondering why the hell would I want to do that? Well, you'll see. You'll see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to collect many, um, herbs as I can, as much, uh, bullets as I can everything I need <clears throat> I just need as much as I can to survive that's pretty much it no there's another herb right there Basically, that's all I guess I need. Yeah. Just want to get that herb real quick. 
because I'm going to need it sooner or later. I'm going to need it. I know I'm not going to get the unlimited uh, rocket launcher, but I don't even care. All I care about is beating the game. <clears throat> Special key, whoopity doo. Anything else, I don't even care. I care about is beating this game under crisp mode. That's all I care about. And what I also care about is getting some herbs and getting prepared for the big fight against plan 42 baby <clears throat> followed by we got another round with yawn that'll be in our other part alrighty I'm gonna put handgun bullets away. Place with the green herbs. Put the bread away and put it where the first aid spray is. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save my progress. Just in case if I die. Because you never know. I used to always do it. I still do it to this day for some reason. Why, I don't know. But honestly... It's better to be safe than sorry. That's basically the bottom line. Alright, let's get the red book. There we go. And now we are going to battle that damn Plant 42. Alright. May God have mercy. Godspeed there, Chris Redfield. Lord have mercy on your soul. You can do it, Chris. We have faith in you, brother. Alright. Run, Chris, run. And now... Here we go, plant 42. Oh, we got another book. Yeah, why not? V jaw report. Huh. As I started in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of a plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experience. We found a an element that destroys these plants rapidly in Umbrella number 16 in a series of chemicals, blah 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 blah. So we named the Umbrella 16 as the Vigil, and our calculation will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the Vigil directly on the root. You need to mix some of the Umbrella series chemicals in this to create Vigil, but the Umbrella series. This gas, which is harmful to the human body, extremely cautious, so should be taken. Blah blah blah. Um, serious, blah, blah, blah. So, I guess we're gonna have to use the V Jolt. That's what it seems like.
Now a book is missing. There we go. Oh boy, there's plant 42. Oh shit. He got caught. Oh, that was Rebecca Chambers. Come on, Becky. You got a front you got a partner to save. Rebecca. No. It's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You can wall. Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion. Becky, time's ticking away. You better do this. Please. You better save your partner in crime, man. Girl, you better do it. Chris, don't die. I gotta admit, though. Like I said before, the acting is bad. The acting is just not good. But it's still one of my favorite video games on the on the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation as well. All right, it's locked. Need to know the code. Figure this out. Two, one, five. Is that? Two, one, five, four. Two. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I used to remember this. Two, one, four, five. Two, one, four, five. What the hell? What the hell am I doing? Oh, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't even know the damn code. That was two, one, four, five. Two, one, four, five. Uh, yes. Two, one, four, five. Let's start all over again. Get out of the room first, and then we're going to try again. Try this again. Yes. Hmm. Is it two one four five? Two one four five. Da da. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Four. Blah, 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 blah. I'm wasting everybody's time. People are giggling. The fact that this is a failure. All right, here we go. Two, one, four, five. Two. I know it's two one four five. Was it two one five four? So 
I'm just pressing random buttons. Is it two one five four? Two one four five. Like I've been saying. Two one four five. Oh, finally, if it goes through, went through hell of trying to get it through. Damn, man, it's completely ridiculous. All right, let's get down to business. Yes, I will. The bottle, yes, I will. And one more. Two. Then there were water. There we go. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Two equals three, three plus four equals seven. I get it, I get it, I get it. There we go. go. Just trying to figure out this uh, puzzle. It's been a while I've done this. Right, get some water, and mix it with number two, and then mix it with the other one. There we go. And we got V jolt. And now we're on our way to burn down that plant. If it works successfully. And they say in the book that it kills the roots. I apologize for the long pause because I was just so focused on trying to save Chris Redfield's life. And not only that, I'm trying to figure out the V-Jolt trick. It's been a long time I've beaten this game. Yeah, 
There we go. Yes, I will descend. Much better, much better. <laughs> and now, get away from these sharks. Oh, look at the teeth on that guy. Let's go shoot him. Chris can wait another five more minutes. What do you think, guys? Shoot some sharks? Uh, maybe not. We gotta save Chris's life. The hell with the sharks. They'll be dead in about a couple hours anyways. Alright, there we go. V-Jolt. To kill that plant. Oh, nice and tasty. Now we're killing those roots there, motherfuckers. Alright, now we gotta play as Chris Redfield. Dropping Chris to the ground, and oh, is it dead? Is it dead? Damn, not even the Vigil can stop him. All right, let's go. I'm trying to stick and move. That's what I want to do. Just so different than the other one. That oh, look at the eyes and teeth. I can see the eyes and the teeth of this uh, damn Plant 42, and I'm dying! Shit! It's like eyes and teeth on there. Oh shit, I'm getting hit! Damn it! I'm on fine. I'm doing alright. Then eh, maybe it's not the eyes and the teeth. There we go! It's dead. And now we gotta get the key to go back to go back to the mansion. And thank God we got rid of Plant Forty Two, because none of the members of the Umbrella Club couldn't do it. It was an impossible fight. So much for him, we got to the root of the problem. Saved again. I just... Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago. I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. Thanks, Rebecca. 
You're so sweet. And now we have an unexpected someone. Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We're still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. A place to hide? A place to hide? Pretty much getting the hell out of this madhouse. I wouldn't stay another minute in that madhouse. You know what? I'm gonna save because the worst is yet to come. And we're leaving the guardhouse. There's no Jill in sight still. Even though that sucks, but you know, whatever. Well, stay tuned for part four, and I'm gonna wrap this up and. See you fans next time. Like, subscribe, favorite, all the other crap, and I'm gonna save this game in progress. And not only that, I'm gonna wrap it up. So, see you guys in part four. Good night.